Hey guys, it's Chris from Domestic Chris, and I'm here with another Mickey Money Money episode. <laughs> Mickey Money Monday <laughs> for you guys. This week I'm going to be talking about a little bit of an extension of what we talked about last week with Tables in Wonderland and why I am not getting the Disney dining plan. Okay, so if any of you are unfamiliar with what the dining plan is, it is a way that you can prepay for your meals. And they have three different levels of the dining plan. Level one is called the quick service plan, and that includes one quick service meal, one snack, and one refillable mug per person per day. I lied. Two quick service meals, one snack, one refillable mug per person um, for your stay. And this is for the nights of your stay. So we are staying seven nights. Okay. Um, when you are on the quick service plan for your lunch and dinner, if you use those quick services, your meal includes an entree, a non-alcoholic beverage, and a dessert. If you use your quick service on a breakfast, like at your resort hotel, it does not include a dessert. You just get an entree and a drink if you need to. Um, the refillable mugs are only refillable at your resort and the Disney dining plan is only available for people who are staying at the Disney resorts. You may not have a dining plan if you're staying off site. Okay, second level of Disney dining plan is called, um, most people call it the Disney dining plan, just the regular dining plan. This includes one quick service, one table service, one snack, and also the refillable mug per person per night of your stay. I mean, you get one mug, but um, with this, the table services also include a dessert as well as a non-alcoholic beverage um, as long as it's not for breakfast. So for example, if you were to use a table service credit to go to Chef Mickey's for breakfast, you wouldn't get dessert because you don't have it. So some people say it's a waste to use your table service at breakfast because you don't get the most bang for your buck. But nonetheless, that is how that goes. And then finally, they have the Disney Deluxe Dining Plan. And what that includes is three meals. It does not differentiate if you're gonna do quick service, table service, it is three meals per day. And essentially that's three table service credits per day. So if you were going to go to a two table service credit meal, that would count as two of your three meals for the day. And with this, the caveat is um, still breakfast does not include dessert, but your lunch and dinner meals can include an appetizer. So uh, th that's the big difference between those is that you do get appetizers now with your meals, whereas on the regular dining plan, even your table service meals did not include appetizers. It still does not include alcoholic beverages, um, but apparently uh, Whispering Canyon, you can choose to have a milkshake as your drink is what I've heard. So now I'm not going to get into the um, details of which restaurants I'm going to just yet. We'll talk about that another time, but I will say this. We are going to have two meals per day and we're going to snack for lunch. And some of the snacks are planned snacks. Some of them will be just Mickey bars and popcorn or <laughs> snacks we bring from home. Um, I have planned 10 one credit table service meals, three two table service meals, two quick service meals, and one is for be our guest for a snack. I'll tell you that I really just want to have the gray stuff. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to eat there a meal, but I, I do want to have the gray stuff. So we are going to make a reservation. So you could count that, I guess, as another quick service, but we're really just going to have a snack there, but I'm going to get a reservation just in case. So anyways, that is technically really only 15 meals. Okay, over our stay, uh, yes, because I think one of them is going to be like brunch or something. I'll explain it more in detail another time, but right now I have down that we are going to have 15 or 16, I think it's, uh, it's 16, 16, we'll go with that, okay, <laughs> 16 meals. Now, that, and these are all one or two table service, and I only have two quick service places. And one of those is be our guest for snack. And the other one I'll tell you is the fish and chips place in, um, I think it's in England and, um, 
World Showcase in Epcot. My kids love fish. They will eat the tar out of fish. They have gluten-free fish. We are totally eating fish. So outside of that, I have a lot of table service meals. So the meal plan that would best suit my needs would be the deluxe dining plan, which for three meals times seven, that's 21 meals. I don't have that many. I don't have that many meals. So I would be paying for meals that I'm not going to eat because I'm not going on a regular vacation. Like I'm totally going to run. <laughs> so I don't have the luxury of just being able to like scarf myself and be full of food and feel well enough to run. That's just not going to happen. And even if I wasn't going there to run, we just don't eat like that. We just, we just don't, you know, like I could see us maybe at one meal a day wanting to have an appetizer and a dessert or like maybe two meals for the week, but that's just not how we eat. And my children are small and while they can put some food down if they really like it, I don't know what they're going to do. And it, it's just really not worth it to me to have to pay so much. And then some people will say, but you can turn in your meal credits for snack credits. Okay. So let's talk about that. Table service credits can be used for quick service. Quick service credits cannot be used for table service, no matter how many of them you have. <laughs> you can exchange the table service or even the quick service meal for four snack credits. Okay. And you can use these all at one time. You can buy four snacks to go. That's a lot of money on snacks that I would not normally be spending and leaving and taking the parks with, you know, I, it's a, it's a way to use it so that you're not totally wasting your money, but I still think it's a waste of money because, you know, if I'm talking here that we have a maximum of 16 meals out of 21. Okay. So that's five extra meals times four. That's 20 snacks per person. 80 snacks. No, I, I don't want to come home with 80 snacks. I just really don't. I just don't want to do that. I'm sorry. Then let's talk about the price. Okay. Why don't I want to do that? So at current 2016 prices, that meal plan is $111.73 for adults and $32.56 for children for a grand total of $2,020.06 for the whole week of that, just that, okay? Now, the regular dining plan is $61.84 with $20.90 for children, a total of $11.59.20. And um, the quick service plan is $42.84 per day for adults, $17.47 per day for children, with a total of $844.34. Somebody might say, but why don't you get a lesser plan and pay out of pocket for the other stuff? I'm still going to be paying a lot of money because I... I'm choosing to go to most, pretty much all table service meals and three of those are two table service meals. So let's just pretend I got the regular plan and I used six of my <clears throat> seven meal, you know, credits on those three meals because it's two a piece, right? Then I still have to pay for <laughs> all of those other meals out of pocket. No. And actually using the dining plan on a two table service credit dinner is not the best use of your table credits because the price per meal that you're paying is most likely because you're paying two. Okay. If you were to pay out of pocket for that meal to go there, it's not going to cost you two of your table service credits. Does that make sense? You're paying too much if you're using your dining plan on two table service credit meals. If you're going to pay out of pocket for any of your meals, you should pay out of pocket for your two table credit meals because you're saving yourself money. You're wasting your money if you use your credits for two table service meals. You just are. If you look at the price on the menu on WW, you know, on the Disney Parks website, the cost of dinner at Cinderella's Royal Table is not worth two of your credits. It's just not worth double. Don't do it. 
you do the dining plan, don't do it. If you have to pay out of pocket, pay out of pocket for those. You're going to save money. Okay, so well, what am I going to do? I've added up based on the prices available to me on the websites. So they show a low price and they show a high price, right? They show a range. The range is usually intended for like um, breakfast versus dinner if it's like a buffet. Um, and then because there's usually an adult and child price. So I've used the highest end of the pricing scheme just to kind of buffer what the cost is going to be. Remember too, the dining plan does not include alcohol if you're interested in that and it does not include your gratuity. Now some of the buffets the gratuity is included and sometimes people choose to add additional gratuity to the buffet. That's your choice. But gratuities are included in the buffets. Um, and I believe also the uh, two table service credit meals like the Hoopty Doo Review, um, Spirit of Aloha, and um, Cinderella's Royal Table. I believe those also include gratuities because a lot of times you have to pay for those in advance. You can double check that, but I feel I feel confident that it's included. I'm looking, I'm looking at my paper over here. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I used the information on the actual WDW Parks Planning Disney World website to get these estimates. And um, I plan on going to Yak and Yeti, Rainforest Cafe, and T-Rex. These are all three Landry's restaurants, okay? Yak and Yeti Quick Service is not, but the other three are Landry's right um, locations. So that means you can use Landry Select Club cards and you can use Landry's gift cards at these restaurants. And it doesn't have to be a Landry's only. It can be a Rainforest Cafe gift card. You can use it all of those or you can do like I did and you can buy McCormick and Schmick's gift cards at Costco. $100 gift cards for $79.99. So you're saving 20% right off the top. Excuse me. And you can use those. Also, you use your Landry Select. What's that? It's a club. You pay a $25 one-time ever cost. It's not annual. It's a one-time fee. They automatically add $25 credit to your card to use on your next location, on your next visit, and you put your birthday. They don't check your ID um, when you register online or if you go to a McCormick and Schmick's or a Rainforest Cafe or any of these restaurants and actually sign up in store when you sign up. Put your birthday as a date that you often travel to Disney World or that you're going to be traveling to Disney World and they'll give you another $25 on your card starting that whole month and up to the 15th afterwards. For example, our anniversary is December 23rd. I'm going to use that day on the card. It will be good all of December and through the 15th of January. Um, I'm also going to make sure that I have two cards, one for me, one for my mother-in-law, and we're going to use one of those at T-Rex to take $50 off our meal and use the gift card to pay the remainder. We're going to use the second one at Yak and Yeti because I think that's going to be our more expensive meal out of that in Rainforest Cafe. Pay the balance with the gift card and use the gift card. I actually anticipate leaving with some extra um, gift card money when I'm done. So that's how I'm saving on those three meals is using Landry Select Club cards and McCormick and Schmick's discounted gift cards purchased at Costco. The rest of it, I'm going to charge to my magic band, which will be connected to my Disney Visa, but I'm going to go every day to the concierge guest office at the hotel in the evening and I'm going to pay my balance with my Disney vacation account. That has a 16 digit number and a pin number, just like a Disney gift card, but I will instead have loaded the majority, if not all of my Disney gift cards into my DVA. Why would I do that? Because for every $1,000 you spend, and I'm budgeting about $2,000 for food, you earn a $20 gift card, 2% back. So I'm gonna earn about $40 <laughs> back in gift cards for food to use on our cruise or another trip in the future. So that is why I am not getting the dining plan. Some people like it for convenience. They feel like, oh, I've already prepaid for this. I just get to order. I can order the most expensive thing and just not care about it. 
And I mean, I guess if mentally that works for you, okay, but financially that just doesn't work out for me. Yeah, I like high-end stuff and I've checked out the menu or I've been to some of these places before and I just feel confident that I just don't need that. I've budgeted it out and I figured out with my tables in Wonderland, remember I saved 20% off of the total. The 18% gratuity is off of the pre-discount total, um, but it is added to the discounted total. So in that $200 example I gave before, you're saving over $40 in one transaction. It will totally pay for itself for me, especially with all of these table service meals that we're doing in this one trip. And it's good for 365 days. So if I go in April for the next race, ha, huh, it's gonna save me again then. I'll probably eat a little bit cheaper then since I will have had all these experiences this time, but I'm sure there will be some table service meals in my future at that time. So I hope that explains and you guys understand why I don't think the Disney dining plan is a good deal. It's not going to work for me now. I don't think it's going to work for me in the future. It's just not how my family eats just not going to work out. You have to make that choice for you and your family, but I strongly suggest that you just take the time and do the math. And you may be surprised that it's not, it's not in your best interest. And especially with ticket prices increasing, a lot of people are talking about that free dining may be going away. You know, they haven't always had free dining. Free dining started in 2008 when we had the huge crash and people were struggling and Disney was trying to bring people in and it was a way to get people in. Now that the economy is doing better, they're raising their ticket prices. It might not be something that's guaranteed to come. So you might not see free dining. And even then, a lot of times getting a room discounts better than free dining depending on what kind of room you want to stay in. So just do the math, look at all your options, and figure out what's going to be best for you and your family. Okay, enough about that. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Let's talk about fun stuff. Check out my hat. Can you dig this? Okay, this is little hat. This doesn't say, and I wasn't able to find online, my mother-in-law gave me these cool vintage ears. I think they're Dumbo right? Because we got the crow's feather. This looks like his little mouse friend's hat. Looks like the big top. I'm pretty sure that these are Dumbo related ears and I love them. They're so cute and they're unique because I haven't seen anybody else have these. Do you know anybody who has ears like these? Let me know. So she gave me these. She also gave me a whole bunch of other Disney stuff I'll show you guys another time. But for now I wanted to show you these. Okay, so in the mail this week I got some exciting stuff. I got a uh, Disney Movie Club reminder to tell them no, I don't need a new copy of Snow White because I already have the other Snow White. Um, some people may want to replace it. I don't. That's okay. Um, then I got another Disney Vacation Club. This really isn't anything cool. It just says, hey, you better sign up or you're not going to get to go on this cool extra vacation. I'm just not ready to push that button yet. But the most exciting thing I got. 22 Disney gift cards. Yes, 22. With $100 a piece. $2,200. But I didn't pay that much. No, 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 no. These are the wonderful blessing from my friend Jessica, who lives in Texas. When we were down there in the army, we became very good, close friends. She's my Christian sister forever. I love you, Jess. And I was thinking of her one day. Later in the day, I saw the message um, that said, hey, H-E-B and Texas grocery stores having $20 off $100 gift cards. Unlimited. What? She was out of town. She got back to town. They changed it to one per person, but I called. I did my due diligence because I'm crazy like that. And I said, hey, can I still use this coupon? And they said, yes. If you clipped it before it went from unlimited to one per person, you can still use it. And... They had come up with another $20 off your total purchase, like your total basket, if you bought $100. So, bless her heart, <laughs> she had to go to the store like four times. First time they said you can only buy $2,000, then her card wouldn't work because she was, you know, trying to buy a bunch of <laughs> gift cards. Then she went back the second day and she got it. The extra $20 didn't come off. Then she went to another grocery store looking to buy the last two and they didn't have any. So she went one last time to get the last two and the extra $20 came off. I said, girl, you keep it for all your trouble. You deserve it. So she mailed them and I got them on Thursday and I'm so excited. I The, the total cost of those, including the extra $20 off, was $1,740. 
for $2,200 in gift cards. That's like a 21% savings. Yay! Then I paid her shipping and handling charges for all of her trouble because she's fabulous and wonderful. So I paid $1,810 for those gift cards. Totally worth it. Totally awesome. That was like every penny of Disney money I had saved up. But I'm so excited. So my other savings this week, it's not a whole lot. I got my Disney Visa Rewards um, balance and I had um, do, 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 $40.31 and I had a dollar six because I got a free coffee coupon and I paid myself for that. So I wrote it down 41 and some change something. But more important than that is the big picture here. Okay. So I was going a little bit crazy when I was trying to do the math. I messed some things up and I've redone my description down here. Uh, so please I, I keep along, but this week is good. <laughs> I changed how I had it listed because my numbers just weren't really working out right in my brain. But I want to let you know that in assets between gift cards, cash in the bank, Target gift cards, McCormick and Schmidt gift cards, gift cards that I've already put towards the purchase price of my room, money I've already paid towards the girls' Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique dresses. I have in value $4,789.93. I have that in assets, Disney wise. I have paid out of my pocket for this. $3,109.19. That, my friends, is a savings somewhere between 34 and 35% so far on my Disney trip. And I am over $300 over budget for savings. That includes my planned savings, right? Um, this month I've got depositing the um, Children's Museum membership as well as another month of gymnastics and another um, escrow payment. But between the escrow payments and gymnastics payments, again, it's all listed in the description. I'm going to have this trip paid off and then some. So as of right now, like I've got enough money to put the bounce back offer deposit down for when I want to go in April. And I might consider upgrading my pass to the worldwide premiere pass so I can go to Disneyland and maybe run a race there too. Or maybe I'll just upgrade my girls and I passes to the ones that have the water park and more options because I've never went to a Disney water park and I lived in Orlando for 10 years. <laughs> so the options and opportunities are being opened up to me. So I will definitely keep you guys in the know. And I haven't even cashed out. I bought a, and I got money there, babe. I'm working on a $25 Shopkick gift card. So like, I'm going to be in the black going on this trip. And I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm going to have another subscriber giveaway coming up in the future. I'm really excited about it. So please subscribe. Tell your friends, share on all of your social media platforms if you please. I'm really having a good time um, filming these videos for you guys and I'm loving the interaction that we're having in the comments. So please comment. Let me know if you've used the dining plan in the past. Did you feel like it was a good value for your money? Has this conversation got you thinking about whether or not you'll use the dining plan in the future? Um, just let me know what's going on in your plans. So again, thanks so much for watching. I love talking to you guys on there. Please comment and I will see you next week. And next week, what are we going to talk about? What are we going to talk about next week? Let me see. Let me see. Na, 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 na. I'm keeping you waiting. My papers are all over the place. I have no idea. I found it. Nope, that's my dinner plans. Oh no. Ah, here we go. I think we're going to talk about how to find some money in a different way that we talked about before. So y'all have a really good night and a really great week and I'll see you real soon.